Hi, I'm Tom Skipper from Soft Touch. Today I'm going to be showing to you how the tests are carried out for the European norm standard EN388. These include abrasion resistance, cut resistance, tear resistance, and finally uh, puncture resistance. Thank you. Here, the glove material is sanded down by the machine until the material is breached. The more cycles needed before the material is breached, the higher the rating for the glove. One cycle is when the machine has completed one round of sanding against the material. If the material resists 100 cycles before a breach, it receives a level 1 rating in the pictogram. 500 cycles awards a level 2 rating, 2,000 cycles awards a level 3 rating, and finally, 8,000 cycles awards a level 4 rating. The material is exposed to a circular cutting blade at a constant velocity and pressure. The number of cycles to cut through the material is counted. The higher the number of cycles, the higher rating level the material achieves in the pictogram. The top rating is a level 5 in the pictogram. Here, the glove material is torn apart by this machine, and the higher amount of force needed to tear it apart, the higher the rating level in the pictogram. The force is measured in Newton, and the highest rating is level 4 in the pictogram. If the force needed to tear apart the material is 10 Newton, it receives a level 1 rating in the pictogram. 25 Newton awards a level 2 rating, 15 Newton awards a level 3 rating, and finally, 75 Newton awards a level 4 rating. The glove material is stretched and wedged between two discs. Then the material is penetrated by a nail with a predetermined size. The force needed to penetrate the material is measured in Newton, and the higher amount of force needed, the higher the rating level in the pictogram. If the force needed to puncture the material is 20 Newton, it receives a level 1 rating in the pictogram. 60 Newton awards a level 2 rating, 100 Newton awards a level 3 rating, and finally 150 Newton awards a level 4 rating. For more information, visit our webpage www.softtouch.se or send an email to info at softtouch.se.